I can remember some of them thinking they were going to kill me. They'd tell me, well, I know you're going to kill me, but I want to call my mama first. <laughs> water had pressure behind it. It hurt. Hey, Shalom! We are Israel United in Great! What we come out here to do is to cast down the dream of Martin Luther King. That's, That's right. right. Martin Luther King did what? He led our people into destruction. Bring it on. Yeah. Out to what? To prophesy against the king. That's what we did. The only king is who? Who's Christ. the king? Christ. Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Christ. Not no Martin Luther King as the king. So. Christ is the king. That's, That's right. right. That I, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. Bring, Bring it out. Yeah. For the leaders of this people. Cause them to err. The leaders of this people, Martin Luther King was a so-called leader. Read that again. For the leaders of this people, cause them to err. Martin Luther King caused our people to err. That's right. That's what he did. He caused us to go out of the way of this Bible. That's, That's right. right. We were out here to prophesy against that. We are the children of Israel. That's, That's right. right. We are God's chosen people. And we suffered in the conditions we suffered in because we walked away from God's law, statutes, and his commandments. That's, That's right. right. That's what happened. Bring it up. Uh, read that one more time. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. Uh -huh. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. The leaders of our people cause us to err. We fall in a false dream. That's Most right. The dream is a false dream. That's right. That's right. Back in the 60s, think black man. In the 60s, the black people had something. We had our own grocery stores. We had our own movie theaters. We had our own hospitals. But we fall in Martin Luther King dream. 2016, we ain't got nothing. Bring it Bring up. It up. It's time for the truth to come out. And the truth gonna come out today. That's, That's right. right. Right here in front of the Rain Motel. We still ran packed this hotel out. What about the drugs in our community? Bring it out. Right. What about that? What about what about the abortion rate? That's right. We followed Martin Luther King's dream. That's why so many. That was, that's why they going in there. They as long as you follow their dream, guess what? You asleep. Bring it out, right? Man, give me Jerry a map. We gonna show you. We gonna show you in the Bible. Bring it out, huh? We gonna show you in the Bible that Martin Luther King's dream was not of God. Bring it out, all. Y'all know that was in the Bible? <laughs> Bring it out! Read this. Listen to this right here. Jeremiah chapter 23. Verse 25. Verse 25. Read. I have heard what the prophets said. So the most high God in the Bible said he heard what the prophets said. Martin Luther King called himself a prophet. He was a reverend. Dr. Martin Luther King. Meaning what? He was a reverend. He was a so-called prophet. 
read that again. I have heard what the prophet said. Uh -huh. That prophesies lies in my name. He said this man was gonna come prophesy lies in his name. That's read. Right. Right. Saying. What did he say? I have dreams. I have what? I have dreams. No, that's in the Bible. Read that one more time. I, no. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophesies lies in my name. Uh -huh. Saying. I have dream. I have dream. That was in the Bible. Give me through the run to 13. Bring it out. Bring it out. All right. Let's see what the Most High God said about a man that was going to come talking about a dream. Bring it out. A dream lift up food. That's right. And it's going to lift it up a whole nation of people and to bow down to another nation of people that that nation of people is supposed to be on top of that people. That's right. Bring it out. Bring it out. Do the Romney. Chapter 13, verse 1. Uh, I read. If there arise among you. He said, if there come among you, read. A prophet. A prophet, dog king, read. Or a dreamer of dreams. Read that again. If there arise among you a prophet. Uh -huh. Or a dreamer of dreams. Read. And give it thee a sign or a wonder. He gave us a sign or wonder, told us to do what? To join hands with the white man. Ever since the black man joined hands with the white man, we ain't had nothing in our community. That's, That's right. right. And the sign of the wonder come to pass. Uh -huh. Wherefore he said unto thee, saying, let us go after other gods. So that was Martin Luther King. He came and gave us a false dream and we went after other gods. Hold that up right there. Bring, Bring it up. up. Hold the white boy up. That's right. This was God we went after when he said join hands with the white man. We followed the white man's God. Bring it out. Sister, sister, right here on the corner. See how people are so brainwashed. They don't want to believe this is not Jesus Christ. Bring it out. Bring it out. Black man turned his head. He turned his head. But what about the drugs in our community? Talking about some equal rights. We are not equal. That's white right. Man. That's right. right. Give me through the run with 76. God created you, black man, to be above the white man. Bring it out. That's I right. To try to be equal to a, a dog. Bring it out. Bring it out. And the black, the older black men turn their head when they see young black men out here bringing the truth. I said, no, this is not Jesus Christ. He looked and said, oh, shit. And kept Bring on. it out. He ought to be ashamed of himself. That's right. Bring it he out. He ought to be ashamed of himself. Our black men have lied down since Martin Luther King. We ain't got no strong black men no more. Bring it out. They too busy trying to follow him. Yeah, they trying right. to follow the white man. Hi, and George. the black men have lied down to his shame. Bring it out, Hawk. Bring it out. Yeah. We gonna tell it like it is. Yeah, Read. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Read. For thou art in holy people. God said that you are a holy people, sister. You don't have to live to try to be equal to nobody. God can read that. For thou art an holy people. You are holy people according to the Bible. Until God, God said that you are holy, meaning you are separate. You are different. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh-huh, read. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So everybody that came across on that transatlantic slave trade, God chose them to be a special people unto himself. That's, That's right. right. Above all people. No, Martin Luther King said be equal to all people. Above all people. You are guaranteed to be above all people. That's, That's right. right. Read. Bring it that up. are upon the face of the earth. That's why God said the Martin Luther King dream is not a dream of him. So <coughs> God created one nation to be above all people. That's, That's right. right. But that one nation gave, did what? Did not one thing God said do, so he placed them below all people. Go back to Deuteronomy. Read out. Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 3. Uh huh. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet uh -huh. or that dreamer of dreams. Hey, listen to the background. He talking about he have a dream. His dream was for you to be stay on the bottom. Did you know that? When Martin Luther King said he had a dream that all men are created equal, you know what he's saying? I have a dream that we should be like the white man. That's right. Matter of fact, we should be just like the white man. But God said that you are created to be above the white man. Right. Right. Can you read? It said, thou shalt not hearken 
unto the words of that prophet. He said you ain't supposed to hearken. You ain't supposed to listen to the words of Dr. Martin Luther King. Read. Or that dreamer of dreams. Or that dreamer of dreams. You're not supposed to be listening to about we have a dream to be equal to white people. Read. For the Lord your God proveth you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Right, so the Most High God said he gonna prove you to see if you love God. Sister, do you know what it means to love God? Bring it out. What does it mean to love God? Can you give God a hug? Can you give God a gift? Bring it out. Is yeah. there anything that you can buy God to show your love for him? So what that mean? It gotta be something that you gotta do. It's something, it's an action. They're like we, they'll say we out here teaching hate, but we ain't set nobody houses on fire. We ain't set nobody churches on fire. That's we ain't right. burn nobody, right. hey, we ain't put no crosses in nobody's yard. We ain't tied nobody to the back of a pickup truck and drug them. We ain't shot them in the back and got off. That's hate. See, that's, that's action. That's what they done to us. That's hate. Hate is an action word and love is an action word. Now let's see what it means to love God according to the Bible, Sister Reed. Bring it out. Bring it out. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. This is what it means to love God. And then we're going to go back into the false dream of Martin Luther King. Bring it For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. This is how you love God since you can't give him no hug. Read. That we keep his commandments. You got to do what? Keep his commandments. So how you love God, sister? By keeping his commandments, give him through the word of 22 and 5. Bring it out, huh? This is what Martin Luther King is supposed to be teaching our people. Yeah, Bring it out. This is what he's supposed to be teaching. How many times have you seen Dr. King read out, read out of a Bible? <laughs> Not one time. But he's supposed to be a reverend, though. He wasn't, following the, he, wasn't, he wasn't following the dream of God. He wasn't following God's law. Guess what he was following? He was following what's his name? A hot gun. That's what he was teaching. Read this. This is a law that our young women, we got to come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments, right? That's why we in the condition we was in. That's why we had the, uh, the water. We was getting sprayed with the water hose. That's why they were sticking the German shepherds on us. Bring it out. We Bring it out. broken God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's and right. God That's had right. his foot in our ass. Bring it out, huh? Bring it Deuteronomy out. chapter 22 in verse 5. Right. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. God said that a woman ain't supposed to be wearing that which pertained unto a man. Bring it out. Bring it out. Do you know, sister, right now that you outside with your underwear on? Bring it out, huh? This is love. This is not the this not the down you because our people don't know. When a woman wears leggings, leggings are underwear. That's what our women wore under their dresses when they was chopping cotton. But now it's the fashion that the woman can come outside with her underwear on and think she got clothes on. But God said, what? Read that. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman they supposed to have pants on. That's why we had them dogs sick on us. Because they kept walking. This is what got our people in the lower state because we still following a dream that ain't true. And you wonder why our kids join games. You wonder why they growing up effeminate as hell. They go to the Christian churches and they listen following the false dream of Dr. Martin Luther King. Bring it out. And we gonna tell it like it is. We yeah, read right. out the Holy Bible. We ain't no Muslim, we ain't no Q dog. We the prophets of the Most High God. That's right. right. And we come out and prophesy against the false dream of Dr. Martin Luther King. Right. Read. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 25. Uh -huh, read. I have heard what the prophet said uh -huh. that prophesied lies in my name. Read. Saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have what? I have dreamed. Read. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? What God say? How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? God. It's asking you a question, sister. He said, how long would this dream go be in the minds of you black people that this dream, this man came and prophesied lies? Read. Yea, the, they are prophets of deceit. They, they are prophets of deceit. They were just prophets to trick you. Read. Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Yeah, he is a prophet of the sea of his own heart. Of my heart, Gundy's heart. He didn't never read out the Bible. Hey, excuse me. 
Have y'all ever seen Martin Luther King read out the Holy Bible? Bring it out. We go. Let's read. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams. Read. Which tell every man to his neighbor uh -huh. as their fathers have forgotten my name right. for Baal. So y'all don't forget about the almighty God of Israel and y'all don't follow out the seas of Borgia. Y'all like that guy like worshiping the God of this Bible going off in that building. Read. The prophet that had a dream. Let him tell a dream. So God said, hey, Martin Luther King got a dream. Let him tell his dream. Read. And he that had my word, let him speak my word. That's it. Right. Right. We got God's word. And guess what we doing? We are here speaking this word. Read. Bring it out. Bring it out. For what yeah. is the self to the wheat, saith the Lord? Read. Is not my word like as a fire? Can, can God's word, his word like a fire? Yeah. It's like fire out here. It is cold. Yeah. God's word going to warm you up, sister. You stay right there and listen. Read. Is not my word like as a fire, uh -huh. said the Lord. Read. And like a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces. So God's word is like a hammer that a break a rock into pieces. Meaning God's word is strong. That's right. Read. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, said the Lord. The most high God said he's against the prophet, said the Lord. Give me do the rock. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Now give me Leviticus 26. Start at verse 14. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 14. Let's see why the black man was going through such hard atrocities in the 1960s. Bring it out. Let's Bring it see out. why we was going through this. There's a reason why we was going through this. And the reason was not to join hands with the other nations. That was not the reason. God had us going through this for a reason. And the reason is in the Holy Bible. And we finna bring out the reason. Come on, bro. Bring it up. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, and verse 14. Uh -huh, read. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and would not do all these commandments. So God said if we did not hearken, meaning we did not listen or obey to do all his commandments. He talked about you that came off them cargo slave ship. Bring it out. If you didn't do what he say do, read. And if you said despise my statutes. If you hate God's statutes, read. Or of your soul, uh -huh. abhor my judgment. If you hate God's judgment, read. So that ye will not do all my commandments. See, we, but, don't, want, we don't want to do what all God's commandments. That's why we was getting sprayed with those water holes. That's why we had them German shepherds sticked on up. That's why the Ku Klux Klan kicked in the door and took your kids out of the virgin in the front yard. Read. Bring it up. Look that ye break my covenant. I will also do this unto you. So God gave you an ultimatum. He said he gonna do this to you if you don't do what he say do. Read. I will even appoint over you terror. He said he gonna point over us what? Terror. He was gonna point over us terror. Bring it out, no, bring it out. He was going through terror. Bring, bring it out. Slavery, terror, civil rights movement, terror. All because of our disobedience to Almighty God. Bring, bring it out, out. And consumption and the burning aid. All types of diseases. This is why AIDS in our community. This is why gonorrhea is in our community. This is why Stockholm Syndrome is in our community. Read that again about the burning out, the disease. Verse 16, uh -huh. the consumption and the burning ache that shall consume the eyes. Hey, that's what they'll consume the eyes. Stockholm Syndrome is a burning egg. That's what y'all got. Y'all done took hands and held and hold to the captain. Y'all said the captains, we, we forgive y'all for capturing us. We forgive y'all for putting us on cargo slave ships. We forgive y'all for sticking them German shepherds on us. We forgive y'all for spreading us with the water hose. Bring it up. We forgive yeah. KKK for everything they done. We forgive, hey, we forgive Dylan Roof. This was wrong with the black man. The yes, white right. man don't know how to forgive nothing. But they'll tell you to forgive what the, forget what's been done to you. That's right. Remember 9-11, but forget the civil rights movement. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring Remember 9-11, but forget slavery. Remember the Boston bomber, but forget what happened to you. We out here to prophesy against this. Bring it out. Read. Leviticus. Chapter 17, um, verse 17. Chapter 20, 26, verse 17. And I will set my face against you. God said, because what? 
we was disobedient to him that he was going to set his face against us. Bring it out. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. That we was going to be up. what? And ye shall be slain before your enemies. We were slain before our enemies. Bring it out. Yo. We was killed before our enemies. That's because right. we did not want to do what God said do. We read out the Holy Bible. We got the greatest knowledge on earth. You should bring the kids over here to hear the Holy Bible. Bring it out. Oh, I knew the king didn't read out the Holy Bible one time y'all was in there. That's right. We are here to tell you what God say do. That's right. That the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans, we are the children of Israel. That's, That's right. right. You see the black woman, she tell the kids, come on, honey, come on. But when they grow up in gangs, they grow up selling drugs, then you're going to wonder why. Because they was not following God, they was following my heart. They was following my heart gun. Where the men at? Bring it I out! all the men on this side of the street. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out, huh? Men taking the young kids to see Martin Luther King. Where your husband at? Bring it out, huh? Where your man at? The men on the, the real man of God on this side of the street. That's right, bro! Yeah. Prophesying the against these lies. Bring that out. Isaiah 3 and 12. This is exactly what she just did. Yeah, Isaiah 3 and 12. Read that out. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Uh, as for go. my people. God said as for his people. Bring it out. Children are their oppressors. All them young kids going to grow up to be oppressing our neighborhoods. Why? Read. And women rule over them. Why? And women rule over them. Women will take the kids away from the truth. Bring we it out. Go. The women will take the kids away from the truth. That's right. That's bad. That's in the Bible. We ain't reading out no Holy Quran. Read that again. Read it out. Bring it out. We just seen it in our face right there. That's right. The woman told the kids, come on, don't listen to them. Mm -hmm. But we got the solution for our community. That's right. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. Uh -huh. As for my people. God said, as for his people. Talking about you so called black, Hispanic, and the Native American. We are God's people. That's right. Children are their oppressors. He said, who they oppressors? Children are their oppressors. We're breaking in all these houses. Children are their oppressors. Who spray painting all the sides of these buildings? Children are their oppressors. Who laying them down? Who running up in the stores with the mask on? Children are their oppressors. Children are our oppressors. And why? Keep reading. Why? And women rule over them. Because the woman is ruling over our kids. Bring it out, huh? Bring Run it out. Bring it out. Black man there. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Bring it out. Bring it out. That a man or a boy? Is that a woman or a man? Bring it out, Hawk. Do the run of me. Chapter 7 and verse 3. This is why we was getting sprayed with the water hose. This is why the Ku Klux Klan was kicking in the door, because we don't want to do what God say do. Bring it out, We bring out the laws of God. We are reading out the Holy Bible. Read. Read. Do the run of me. Chapter 7 and verse 3. Do the run of me. Chapter 7 and verse 3. Y'all come over here. We got the greatest knowledge on earth. We reading out the Holy Bible, sister. You go in there, Martin Luther King ain't gonna read out the Bible one time, I can guarantee you, but he called himself a reverend. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out! It is what it is. He had a dream, but his dream wasn't of God. He had a dream, but his dream was of a high gun. That's right. right. So what is your nationality according to the, uh, what is your nationality? You what? I'm black and white. You black and white, what is your father? Black. Your father black, guess what tribe you from? You see yourself on the side. We finna give you the greatest knowledge on earth right now. You are not gonna get this knowledge. You are from, you see yourself on this side. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yourself on this side. Come look at the sign. You're not looking at it. On this side right here is what you're gonna find in the Bible. What God calls us. On this side right here, you're gonna find what your slave master called you when he changed your daddy up and threw him on a slave ship. Right. Bring it up, dog. around his neck. Do you understand that? If he brought you to a land, he did not tell you who you were. He told you that you were an African. You're not African. He told you that you was American. You are not American. How we know? Because it's not in the Bible. They told you you was mixed. He told you that you was mixed, sister. But that's not in the Bible. Bring it out! Bring it out. You understand that? Right there. Right. Get numbers. Give me just now. Go. To, yeah, give me numbers. Numbers! Chapter 1 and verse 18. This is how we know you're not mixed, because we do everything the Bible say do. What you're looking right. at is the men of God. And we out here to stand up for the words of God. We come out here to prophesy against the lies and the false dreams of Martin Luther King. Read. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day uh -huh. of the second month. Read. And they declared their pedigrees. They, they, they declared their pedigrees. I mean, what, 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 where they come from. Read. After 
of their families by the house of their father. That's, that's right. right. Father, so whatever your father is, that's what you are. That's so when somebody right. asks you again, what are you? Never say mix. You be proud to be black. That's God, right. You be proud that your father is from the tribe of Judah. That's right. right. That's right. Did you know about the tribe of Judah in the Bible? That you are a real Jew. That the so-called white man is not the Jew, but you are the real Jew. The real, the real Jews don't know who they are in this land. All right. But the white man took our culture, our nationality, and gave us a false dream. Use Martin Luther King to give us a false dream. That's why we at the bottom of society trying to be equal to them. Go to do you at do the running. Yeah. This is what God said about you. That you ain't got to try to be equal to nobody. God said that you are a holy people, brother. Both of y'all from y'all the same people. Both of y'all from the tribe of Judah. Bring it the out. The twelve tribes of Israel. God said that you are what? Read. The Lord that God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God chose you to be a special people. You know how you know how important that is? For God to choose one nation of people on this earth to be a special people. Read. Above all people. No, it say equal to. Above all people. But God said that his people are supposed to be what? Above, above all people. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. Now give me Deuteronomy 28 uh, eight and verse 15. Now let's see what happened. What? What? what what makes y'all think, that, how do we get on the bottom of all people? Bring it out. Bring it out. Hold on. How do we get on the bottom? What did y'all think we did to get on the bottom? For us to get sprayed with those water hoses. For us to get milkshake pulled on our head. You don't think we done nothing? See, that's the thing about it. They don't want you. Huh? I'm saying. Uh-huh. I'm saying for us to get on You didn't? Well, let's see what the Bible said. Bring that it up. chosen people did to get below everybody. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. God gave us an ultimatum. He said, look, if y'all do what I say do, I'm going to bless y'all. If y'all don't do what I say do, that what he read now. Read. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God said if we don't listen, these people on this side, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, we are the tribe of Judah. He said if y'all don't listen and do what I say do, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. We got to observe to do all God's commandments. Not just 10, but all God's commandments. Read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What did he say was going to come upon us and overtake us? The curses. The curses. What does curses mean? What does the word, if you curse, what they mean? Yeah, bad. bad, evil things going to happen to these people. Now we're going to read some of the bad, evil things. That's how we know who we need these people. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said since we didn't want to do what he said do, he said his, our sons and daughters will be given unto another people. When did that happen to us? During slavery. So we did something. We ain't doing what God say do. Go, uh, keep reading. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thy hand. And then we're going to be no might in our hand. So whatever these, uh, what, 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 what nothing we can do. You see what I'm saying? Go to 41. There wasn't no might in our hand when they, when our son and daughters were given to another people. What nothing we could do about it. That's how we know we these people. We reading the curses that Moses told these people over 2,000 years ago what was going to happen to them. Read. 28 in verse 41. We are the people of the Bible. We are the real Jews. Right That's right. That's right. We are the real Jews. The white man ain't the real Jew. That's, That's right. right. He took your nationality and said he the greatest thing. And got us living like niggas. Got us twerking. Got us out here walking around like thoughts. Got our women prostituting. Got our men selling drugs. While he trying to live and be like us. But the God's chosen people of this Bible, they don't even know it. Read. Thou shalt be got sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. He said since we didn't want to do what he said do, he said we were going to have sons and daughters, but we were not going to enjoy them because they were going to go into captivity. They were going to get locked up. Give me six, eight, get straight to the point. Then we're going to get back to, we're going to show them that Martin Luther King's dream was not. Deuteronomy yep. chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again so, with ships. So God said, look, if y'all don't do what I say do, because this is the book of Deuteronomy. The books ahead of us was Exodus. Y'all heard when Moses split the Red Sea and went and got the children of Israel. And we walked through on dry ground. That was you. That was you he went and got. It wasn't a white man. 
they made the movie Exodus and put white people in it. But the Bible proves that it was us. He said that what? If we didn't do what he said do, he said that we was going to go back into Egypt again because we just left out of Egypt. That's right. Bring it up. So what does Egypt mean? What do y'all think Egypt mean? What were we doing in Egypt the first time? We were slaves, so, so you got some knowledge. That's right. That's right. right. Watch what the Bible say Egypt is. Then we're going to go back to the other verse. Right? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, right. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means the house of bondage, which means slavery. Just like you said, so now we're going to go back to the curse. That God said that if we didn't do what he said, do, this was going to happen. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Say he was going to bring us into slavery again. How we get over here? Ships. Did y'all know that was in the Bible? We don't. They don't teach us that in the Bible because the Christian church have taught us to stay out of the Old Testament and it's all about Jesus. That's but right. who is Jesus' people? He's only come to save his people. See, they don't want you to know that. They want you to think that they are, uh, uh, they Jesus' people. That the white man that called himself a Jew, have ever in history, any time, how this man went anywhere on a cargo slave ship? No. So he can't be the real Jew. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Most High God said that we didn't do what he said do, that he was going to bring us into slavery again with cargo slave ships. That's in the Bible. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Moses said, by I'm saying how it's going to go down, that's how it's going to go down. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. That we want to go see our homeland as a people no more again. Read. We're not going to see Read. Jerusalem. Jerusalem is our homeland, sister, not that's Africa. Right. Thank right. you. Not no. Africa is not our homeland. Jerusalem is our homeland. We can prove it. If you if we say anything you don't agree with, say prove it. We're gonna go to the scripture in the Bible and prove it. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And thou you shall be sold unto your enemies. He said you're gonna be dead. What when you got so listen, he said when you got out them slave ships, you were gonna be sold. So we done something to be sold and to work. To your enemies. And to your enemies. That's in the Bible. He said, you was going to be sold unto your enemies. Read. For bond men. For a slave man. And bond women. And a, and a slave woman. Read. And no man shall buy you. And nobody going to be able to save you out of them conditions. Martin Luther King tried to save us out of the conditions. Guess what? He couldn't do it. We still at the bottom of society. That's right. It don't matter who the president gonna be, Donald Trump, Hitler, Clinton, Barack Obama, it don't matter. We gonna be at the bottom. That's right. you know, why? Because we disobey God's law, statutes, and his commandments. If we wanna be on the top, we gotta come back to this Bible. We That's gotta right. be following the false dream. Why you think the white man out here? All the stuff they done to us, they want you to stay asleep in their dream. That's, That's right. right. As long as you keep believing that what? You got to live to be equal to them. They always going to be on top of you. Bring it up. Bring it up. But the Bible said that he created you to be above them. That's, that's right. right. That's something they don't want you to know. Because they know what? If you come back to this Bible, their rulership is going down. That's, that's right. right. That's right. So they want you to stay lost. That's why you see them coming in here. That's why you see them marching with us. Mike Brown, get shot. You got certain white people. Yeah, yeah. We love you. We love you. We love you. But God said, what? You are created to be above them. Then he called them your enemy. Go to 47. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 46. 47. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. It's another curse that happened to us. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So we didn't want to go to God for the abundance of all things. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger. He said we're going to have to go serve our enemies in hunger. Meaning in time you want something to eat, read. And in thirst. When we get thirsty, we got to go to our enemies. Meaning what? We don't own that. We got to pay our water bill to who? Mm -hmm. Who are our enemies? I want you to say it. Who you pay your water bill to? Okay, who owns MLG and W? Okay. Bring it out. You want a Coca-Cola. Who you got to go get it from? A vending machine. Who owned that vending machine? Who owned Coca-Cola? All right, brother, I'm going to hit you. We, we ain't got a lot of time out here. The white man owned that stuff. Bring it out. Bring it out huh? Don't be scared to say it, bro. That's right. It is what it is. Yeah, bro. Don't
don't be scared to say that. They put their fear on you when they was hanging us from trees. That's right. That's right. They were taking us out in the front yard, burning us in front of our kids. They were putting the fear in you not to say that. But God said they are enemies. Read that again. Therefore, no. shall thou serve thine enemies. You gonna go serve your enemies when you got off them slave ships. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The most high God sent them against us. How you think the white man know to come get us out of the western coast of Africa and Europe? Because God sent them against us. That's right. God did that. How did they go get the Chinese to come over here and make America the biggest and the baddest country on the earth? Why didn't they go get the Japanese to do that? They came and got you because they knew it was something special about you. Bring it up. Bring it out, huh? They knew it was something special about you. They know you the greatest. You built up Egypt. You built up Babylon. Now you're building up America. That's, That's right. right. Read. In hunger and in thirst. And in thirst. And in nakedness. Guess what? When you want to go get a Nike jacket, guess who you got to go get it from? The white man. Bring you it out. go to the mall. We don't own those stores in the mall. Read. And in want of all things. For the want of all things, we got to go to our enemies for it. To get toothpaste, toothbrush, tissue, whatever you think of, shoes, whatever you can think of. We got to go to our enemies get it. The black man don't own nothing since the 1960s because we followed Martin Luther King's dream. Back in the 60s, we had our own move. You ever heard of Black Wall Street, young man? Black Wall Street in the 1920s, guess what? Guess who destroyed Black Wall Street when they seen the black man prosper? The white used the U.S. military to drop bombs on a whole community of black people. Bring it up. Bring guess it how up. many people they killed when they dropped the bomb? Over 3,000 black people. Over 3,000 black people was courted dead after they came in and bought, uh, invaded Tulsa, Oklahoma in the 1920s and eliminated Black Wall Street when they seen us trying to prosper. We had over 600 successful business. We had over, uh, what's it, 31 uh, hospitals or something like that. We was prospering as a people. We even had our own airport. But now guess what they did? They said follow Martin Luther King's dream and guess what? There'll never be anything. Now they got to go to us for the one of all things. That's what we reading in the Bible. Because we followed the dream of Martin Luther King, our people no longer have anything. Read. And he will put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Guess what? Until he have destroyed thee. He said, look, when we got out those slave ships and we got to go to our enemies for the one of all things, he said that enemy was going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck. Who done that to us? White people, which God said they are what? Our enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So the God saying that we not just over here yelling no words, we out here reading out the Bible. That's if you right. go off in there, Martin Luther King is not going to read out the Bible, not one time. That's right. He, gonna, That's he, right. Gonna, he, gonna, he ain't going to read out the Bible, but he a reverend though. That's how you know. Did you know Martin Luther King's dream was in the Bible? Bring Did it you out. know that the, the Most High God prophesied that it was going to be a man come? Look at all the white people going in there. Why? Because they want you to stay asleep. Bring, Bring it out. Stay asleep. Guess what? They get to publish their school, they get successful over you. They don't give a damn about Martin Luther King. Bring it up! They give a damn about his dream. They give a damn about his dream. That's what they give a damn about. They don't give a damn about him as a person. They give a damn about keeping you asleep. Bring it out, Bring it out! Read that. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 25. It's the Holy Bible, listen. I have heard what the prophet said. He said, I heard what the prophet said. Come on, Luther King called himself a prophet. He's a reverend. Read. That prophesied lies in my name. He prophesied lies in the most high God name. Read. Saying, I have dreamed. Hold on. I have dreamed. What's Martin Luther King's favorite speech? Did you know that was in the Bible? Bring it out. Read Bring it, it out. again, because they don't know. Hey, for real. I didn't Bring know. Bring it out. None of us knew that at one point in time. Because when you got to the Christian church, they started you off with Matthew and went to Revelation. And then still didn't know what they were talking about. You feel me? So Bring it out, huh? Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 25. Uh -huh. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, uh -huh. saying, I have dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream that all day that some the little white boys and the little white girls should join hands and all live together and be created equal. That's not in the Bible. Bring it out. That's not in the Bible. Now go back to Leviticus. Yes, Let's see why we was going, we was getting sprayed with the water hose. Let's see why. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. The black man is a phenomenon. We had our own water fountain. We had our own school system. We had our own movie theater. 
But guess what the black man, no, I want to be like the white man. Why we can't drink out they water fountains? Why we can't go sit in they restaurants? Well, we're now they make us go sit in they restaurants, and guess what? We ain't got no restaurants. Bring it out, all. Bring it out. We ain't got no restaurants in our community. Yes, boy. If it is, guess what they sell? The hamburgers and french fries, catfish, and chips. They selling pork. They selling everything you ain't supposed to be eating. Watch this. Uh, give me 17. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 17. Read. And I will set my face against you. God told the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the children of Israel. He said, if y'all don't do what I say do, get what you're going to do. Read that again. And I will set my face against you. So if God set his face against us, what does that mean? That means he turned his back on us. If I set my face against you right now, that means I'm gonna do like this. Yes, That's what God did. When we didn't want to do what he said do, read that again. And I will set my face against you. God said he was gonna set his face against us. Read. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. He said you were gonna be slain before your enemy. You know what it means to be slain? It means to be killed before your enemies. Now who God just called our enemies a while ago? Huh? White people. Not just, the, white people. Not, just not just the white people, all the other nations, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Africans. We are God's chosen people. He said that we didn't do what he said do. Read that one more time. Bring it out. And I will set my face against you. He was going to turn his back on us, bro. Read. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. So during the 1960s, when our people was getting slain before our enemies, when the Ku Klux Klan was kicking in our door and dragging you out the, out the house and burning you in the front yard, there was God's judgment against us for not keeping his law, statutes, and commands. Bring it up! Right? Bring it up. God ain't playing with his people. That's right! Just like if you got parents, and your parents tell you to do something, and you didn't do it, guess what happened? You got punished. So God got a chosen people. He got some children of Israel, which are the 12 people on this side. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right and if out. we don't do what he say do, guess what? He put his foot in our behind. Yeah, bring it out. Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. See, the God of this Bible is not the God of everybody. The God of this Bible is only the God of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. That's we right. are God's chosen people. And we went into slavery and through the civil rights movement because we chose to break God's law, statutes, and commands. Bring it out! Our older black men didn't know this back then. This was formed the Christian church. You got Christianity now. Because they didn't know to come out the Bible. Read. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. We read, we read out the Holy Bible, y'all. We ain't no Muslim. We ain't no Q dogs. We are the prophets of the Most High God and we coming to give a, a, a message to our people. Cause we know our people's gonna be down here trying to live out a false dream. That's right. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. So we telling you to hear this word that the Most High God is speaking against you, black man. Read. Oh, children of Israel. We are the children of Israel. That's Read. right. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth." No, he know the white people. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. No, he know the Japanese. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's how special we are. That's right. God right. only knows the Israelites of the Bible. That's right. Y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all get them a flower. There's some flowers in my, in my, hold on. Y'all take these flowers. <laughs> take these flowers, man. Hold on, they're gonna give y'all some flight. What well, we are here teaching that we are the children of Israel. <laughs> we are God's chosen people. That's and we awesome. suffer in the atrocities of America right. because we have lost our heritage. Give me Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. We have lost who we are. When we got some cargo slave ships, they told us that we were Negroes. 20 years past, they say that we was colored. Another 100 years past, they said we were Negroes again. Then another 20 years past, they said we were black. Now, 2016, they say we're African American. Why in the world, out of all the people on the earth, do our nationality got to keep changing? Why one minute we're a color, this black, this black, your coat is black. We're not black. Black is a color in the crayon box. Bring it up! Why are we according to the Most High God? That's what we got to ask ourselves. That's right. We got to right. come back to our true heritage. That's right. We got to come back to this. We got to teach our kids this. If we want, hey, God didn't create us to be equal. He created us to be above. And the only way we're going to get above all nations is we 
come back to this battle. God, Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knew it. His owner. God finna compare us to two dumb animals that he created. He said the ox know who owned them. Read. And the ass, his master's crown. He said in the ass, a donkey know where he live at. Read. But Israel. He said, but the people on this sign right here. Do, hold on. Do y'all see yourself on this sign? This is very important. On this sign right here, you got what you're going to find in the Bible, what God called you. And on this side right here, you're going to see what the slave master called us when they when we was drugged out them cargo slave ships. So, you see, Africa, you see Judah are the African-American blacks. Benjamin are the West Indian blacks. Ephraim are the Puerto Rican. That's then right. you got Manasseh are the Cuban. This is biblical proof. If you Bring it out. say the thing that you don't agree with, say prove it. We're going to prove it. All right, so it ain't got nothing to do with being black because black is only a color in a crayon box. Bring it up. It got right. something to do with family of the earth you come from. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So don't think we out here just standing up for black people. Now the Mexicans are our people. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Now Tally, Issachar, Mexican, the Aztec Indian. They are, we are the same people. But guess what? They were destroyed by the white man too. The conquistadors destroyed them. And they taught them Spanish. And the white man, the English man, destroyed us and taught us English. We're the same people, but guess what? They speak Spanish and we speak English and we think we're two different people. Reese. The ox know his owner and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. He said Israel, the people on this side, the so-called blacks, we don't know who we are in the land of our captivity and what? And my people do not Consider. God said we don't even consider that we are his chosen people. Yeah, even though we are the best at everything. You want to run? We run faster than everybody. You want to shoot a basketball? We shoot it better than everybody. You want to pick up some weights? We lift it better than everybody. You want to sing? We do it better than everybody. If we want to come up with inventions, who did all that? We did. We are God's chosen people. There ain't no question is that we the best at everything. We do everything best. Man, we God chosen people. But what? American Dream, Martin Luther King said we gotta be equal to him. So guess what that turned out to be? Making you an African American. Yes, the words African American is nowhere in the Bible. Bring it out. We are God's chosen people. Right. And we right. went into slavery because we broke his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. Like we can ask our kids. <laughs> Give me that picture right there. I'm going to show you how this we've been destroyed. All right, go to uh, Genesis. What's the difference between Judah? Give, go, go to uh, go to Zechariah 12 and 7. All right, do you know, are you familiar with the Bible in about the 12 tribes of Israel? You familiar about when Jacob and Esau, they were twin brothers, right? All right. So God said that he was going to bless Jacob, you know what I'm saying, to give him the inheritance, not Esau. Let's get that first. Let's show Let's break it all the way down. I got time to break it all the way down to him right quick. All right. Bring it up, dog. All right. So you ask him, what, what, what exactly are you asking? You're saying that we are, we are the same. Yeah. We are the same. Judah and Issachar. Okay, watch this. Huh? Yeah, give me the clear track. Yeah. See, all these people right here are brothers. Now give me, you know what? All right, come on. So you're going in with Genesis 12? Yeah. We're going to call it 49.8. Start at 1. Okay. Start at 1. Yeah. Okay. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And Jacob called unto his son. So Jacob was getting ready to pass away. He was getting ready to die. Read. And said, Gather yourselves together that I might tell you which shall befall you in the last day. So he got all his sons together and said, Y'all come together. We're going to show y'all where y'all going to be at and what's going to happen to you in the last days. All right? Read. Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, uh -huh. and hearken unto Israel, uh -huh. your father. So he told them to hearken unto Israel, his father, because Jacob's name was changed into Israel. Did you know that? All right, now go to uh, 12. Let's get uh, let's get 12. All right. All right, now let's go to Judah first. Let's show them who Judah, how we know we Judah. Hey, yeah, that's what I meant. That's how he said, all his son, he called Judah. He called Judah. Watch this, what he said to Judah. 
Genesis chapter 49 and verse 8. This is how we know that um, the so-called blacks are the, are the tribe of Judah. Watch, watch this read. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. He said, Judah, he's talking about you black men. He said, you going to be who your brethren praise. Every, all your brethren going to want to be like you. Mm, all right, go to the mm. They, they going to want to be like you. Meaning what? They going to want to sing like you. They going to want to dance like you. They going to play basketball like you. They going to want to even dress like you. If you if Judah sag their pants, get what? Is a car gonna sag their pants? Bring it out. If Judah put a gun on his hip, is a car gonna put a gun on his hip? They gonna want to do what we do. All right, three. Thy hand, thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. He said Judah gonna live amongst his enemies. Bring it out, huh? We in the land that's not ours. We are living amongst our enemies. His hand is in his neck because what? We got the power to chill, yeah. but we sleep and don't even know it. Mm. All we got to do is apply the pressure. Mm. That's all the pressure yeah, right. got to do is apply the pressure. Bring it out, Bring that again. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. He said our hand, his hand was going to be in the neck of his enemies, meaning what? Issachar got their own land. You see the Mexicans, they got, a, they got somewhere they can call home. But the black man said what? We ain't, we, we, I mean, the Bible said the black man, we ain't got no home. They bought us over here on cargo slave ship. We ain't got nowhere we can call home. They say, nigga, go back to Africa. Okay, we go back to Africa, where we gonna go? It's over 55 countries in Africa. So where we gonna get off the ship at? We don't know. We don't got no home. Keep reading. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Uh -huh. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. He said our children gonna bow down before us, mean they gonna praise us and everything we do because we are the best. Give me Zechariah chapter two. Huh. Alright, this is Genesis 49 and verse 12. Huh. 49 verse 12. Yeah, keep reading, read. Judah, Judah is a lion well. He said we like a young lion. Y'all see a young lion? We like a lion's well. We frisk it. We can move around, but what? Read. From the from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Uh-huh. He stooped down. We like a little young lion. We'll scoop down when Mike Brown gets shot. We scoop down like we ready to attack when Freddie Gray gets Bring shot. Bring it up. Bring it, we'll it out. Roy Glenn Jr. gets shot. We'll get out and march in these streets. We like a young lion, but what? He is a count. He is couched as a lion, as an old lion. But we like an old lion, though. We don't lie down. An old lion, he don't even want to move now. Bring it out. All we want to do is march. Yeah. When the black man gonna stand up on his feet and realize that we are the chosen people of God. That's right. 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 Who shall rouse him up? Who gonna rouse the black man up in America? Cause we got the power to take over the world. But who gonna wake us up? Mm. Living a false dream. Give me Zachariah chapter 11 or uh, 12 and 7. That was Genesis chapter 49 what verse what? 8 through, through 9. Huh? 8, through 8 through 10. All right, now we're going to go, we're going to read you one more thing about Judah. Why you see Judah out here? Why you don't see a lot of Issachar or a lot of Reuben? Watch this. Read it. Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 7. Uh -huh. The Lord shall save the tents of Judah first. We are the tents of Judah. He's going to save us first because everybody want to be like us. He's going to have the black man in America to get up and rise up above his people first. He said Judah. Gonna rise up first. Right. Then come the other tribe, cause they go just like when the '60s, mm. when they seen the Black Panthers rise up. You had the, uh, brown you brown had the what? Brown the Brown Berets, which the Hispanics. They rose up. The what? Young Lords. The Young Lords. The other Hispanics. When they seen the Black man standing up, then when they started to stand up, cause we Judah. We mean, you know what Judah mean? Judah mean God praise. Bring it out. Bring it out. All right, go back down. Let's show him Issachar. Now he said, what's the difference? to show you what God said that is a car, which are the so-called Mexicans, they are our people, and we're going to prove it out the Bible. So you're saying Judah and Issachar, we are the same, right? We are the same people. We're brothers. brothers. They brothers. All these people, that's 12 tribes. They the brothers. Read verse 1 again. Huh? Read verse 1 again. Read verse 1 again. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And Jacob called unto his sons uh -huh. and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that we shall befall you in the last day. So Jacob laying on the bed, he said, y'all come around, let me tell y'all where y'all gonna be in the last day. Read. Go to uh, uh, Issachar 12. Is it 12? 13, 14. No, 14, 14. Issachar is as strong as. He said, Issachar, the Mexicans, they are strong ass. Bring Bring it out. What? What's an ass, a donkey? They work horses. Bring They'll it out. work, they work, they work, they work, they work. They are strong ass. Bring, Bring it out, Hawk. 
Counting down between two burdens. He said they count. What, what the map at? He said they crouching down between two burdens. A burden is two at? things that hold you down. Huh? No. no. They ain't got a uh, mess corner. Alright. It says it's a car was gonna be what? It's a car. It's a strong ass. Uh, Counting down between two burdens. The two burdens he's talking about North America, then you go down in South America. He said that's what you're gonna be at. Crouching down between two burdens. Get out. Get out. And you're gonna be a strong workhorse. Keep reading. And he saw the rest was good. Uh -huh. And the land was pleasant. So down there where they live is, is good and it's pleasant. They got good land down there. Why people take vacations down there? Bring it out, huh? And bowed his shoulder to bear. What? And became a servant unto tribute. Became a what? A servant unto tribute. The Mexicans became a servant unto tribute, meaning what? They'll work hard as hell for a little or nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Mexicans work hard for a little or nothing. Wow. See, when you add that up, they are the tribe of Issachar. The Native American Indians are our people. Yeah, you got to Bring it up. Get in contact with me right here in Memphis. 1661 Lamar. We got a number on the back of that flyer. Contact us. Come learn more, bro. We need more black men on this side. Give me Isaiah. Hold on. One more scripture. Give me uh, Psalm uh, 94 and 16. Because you just see young black men. We need our older black men standing up with us. Bring it up. We got to do this together. You just can't have the young black men out here telling the truth with the Bible. We ain't coming out of our own heart. You see us reading scripture for scripture for scripture. That's for scripture. right. Right. You go to the Christian church, the pastor gonna read one scripture, jump around in the circle, pass the plate around, the choir gonna sing, he gonna pass the plate around again, then he gonna sing you home, then he gonna do it next Sunday, and you ain't gonna know nothing. That's right. Right. Hang it out, dog. He a pimp. The preacher is a pimp. Right. We gonna tell you like it is. We out here reading the word of God. All right? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, in verse 16. This guy got a question for you, young man. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? He said, who gonna rise up with him against the evildoers? Read. Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who, where are the black men gonna stand up for, uh, for God against the evildoers? The evildoers got us living out of false dream. God creates to be above all people. That's right. He creates to be above all people. Bring it up. Martin Luther King came with a false dream of my high God and said, we should join hands with our enemies and one day we're going to be equal to them. Bring all right, so Martin Luther King died in the 1960s to 2016. Somehow, we still ain't equal to them. They still got their foot on the back of our necks. They still getting off in court when they shoot our young kids down in the streets. Bring it up. They still up. injustice in their system. They still don't want to give us jobs because we still following the dream of Martin Luther King. But we come back to this Bible, guess what? Guess what's going to happen to them? Let me show you this. Give me Isaiah right quick. 14. Bring it up. Let me Bring it show up. you what's going to happen to them. We Bring just come back to God's law. See, everything they done to us, what they don't want you to know is going to get done to them. Bring it out, That's what they don't want you to know. Because as long as they got you thinking that you got to be equal to me, guess what? You will never know that what's going to happen right here. It will prophesied in the book of Isaiah. Read. Uh, one. Bring it Isaiah out. chapter 14 and verse 1. This the for, the, my bad. for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So God in the last days, he's going to have mercy on Jacob. The people on this side, read. And will yet choose Israel. He's going to choose the people on this side, the blacks, the, the Western Indian blacks, are the Jamaicans, the Haitians, the Puerto Ricans, the Cubans, the Issaquah, Mexicans. He's going to choose these people and have mercy on them, read. And set them in their own land. He's going to set them back in our own land because he made the world for our sake. Right. Right. Oh, right. Right. And the stranger shall be joined with them. He mean all the other nations, the, the whites. The Chinese, the Japanese, the Africans, all the other nations gonna be joined with us. Guess what? So yeah, they coming to heaven with us. They gonna be in the kingdom with us. But guess what? Not doing what they doing now. Destroying the ozone layer, killing our kids and getting off. We got a task for them, just like they got a they had a task for us. Bring it up. Bring and it they up. Cleave to the house of Jacob. They gonna wanna be just like us, but they ain't gonna be able to do it. Read. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. They said so. These people on the side gonna do what? Shall take them. We gonna take them just like they took us. Bring it out. They came to the western coast of Africa 
and the and European and the Europe I bro all crazy. And they came to Europe and they took us, they threw nets, they had the Africans catch us. We're not Africans, they had the Africans catch us and throw us on cargo slave ships, so we gonna take them just like they took us. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them. We gonna possess them to possess them what they mean. If something in your possession what they mean, you what? You what? You keep it in you, that means you do what? You own it. So we going to own them just like they owning us right now, read. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord uh -huh. for servants. They going to be our slaves, read. And handmaids. And our handmaids, read. And they shall take them captive. And we going to take them captive. Whose captive they were. That's oh, right. They, we were. Bring it out. Give me revelation. And they shall rule over their oppressor. The Bible said we're going to rule over our oppressor. Right, right. Did you know that was in the Bible? That's Bible prophecy. Hold on, bro. I'm going to answer your question. That we was going to rule over our oppressors, man. What you read that That's Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Go down 1 through what? By 6 and 7. Just keep, keep reading, bro. The whole chapter is talking about us. Taking them back into captivity like they took us. But Martin Luther King ain't gonna take it there. Cause when you go in there, he ain't reading out the Bible. He yeah, said we got to deal with that king. Hey, bro, I'm gonna say this. I first of all, I appreciate y'all being out there. Yeah. And I was just telling him this on our way coming in. Okay. Go, I want you to go over there. Jesus is. I gotta go, y'all drive All right. Okay, I'm crazy, bro. Hey, y'all get up with us. You from here in Memphis? Who is? Uh, Atlanta. You from Atlanta? We got a school in Atlanta, man. Oh, uh, what's the road? Thank okay. that Jesus. Oh, uh, yeah. It's in College Park. We got a school down there to teach us. Hello, this I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.